Hey there traders, this is Taylor with Top Pick Trading. I want to see if we can get a second entry short here at the EMA. You can see we had this downtrend that strengthened and uh, formed this steeper downtrend that's uh, shown in green here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my sell order ready. If I can get it to be purple, there we go. And we got a big bullish bar up to the EMA. So let's see if the EMA is uh, going to hold. It actually has been holding well into the overnight so um, we have not been able to gap above the EMA even once and looks like we may get a good bar here and it's two ticks off perfect but it's so bearish that I'm willing to take this it's pretty small risk too and um, like I mentioned this is the first break of this downtrend and the EMA is held every single time it's uh, prices have returned to it clearly a two-legged move back and also this could be seen as a little failed break higher from this uh, little congestion area ATR is pretty low here um, and like I mentioned earlier there's some congestion here so I may lower this target to just classic eight ticks here Let's see how it pushes here. Yeah, get out right at the bottom of that big bullish bar. And hopefully we can get a runner on this. Let's see. <coughs> Just finding a little bit of support there. Hopefully just temporarily. I did touch our order now. There we go. Blows right through it. We get the 8 tick scout. Probably could have gotten more. It's been so downhill. Um, but um, I just didn't want to risk too much on, with this low ATR and, and that congestion there. And really here, um, big thing I'm wanting is a nice runner. And you can see the bigger picture here. I mean, every single time we came back to that EMA, since the middle of the overnight, it's held every single swing. Usually these channels kind of flatten out as they go. It starts out steeper. Um, but today has been the opposite. It's, got, it's gotten uh, steeper as we've gone rather than flatter so the uh, bearish case is increasing or the bearish bias is increasing I should say and while we're waiting on this runner I'm gonna throw out a shameless plug here uh, if you guys like the way that Marco and I trade on these videos and are curious and want to learn more check out our website uh, toppicktrading.com um, we follow Max price action trading rules, and also we watch uh, Al Brooks. Uh, he's a little more in depth, but um, some of his stuff is really valuable as well. But uh, if you're interested in our course, it's taught by a moderator on Max Forum, Eric, and he specializes in machine learning, and he has to know how to teach people and train people based on that so uh, he's really tailored this course for training rather than just teaching you price action uh, and it's what uh, Marco and I learned so um, if you're interested in that it's really helpful check out our website ask us um, on the comments and you on YouTube email us um, Marco at toppicktrading.com or Taylor at toppicktrading.com um, or sign up on our form Ask us there. We'd be happy to help. So yeah, our runners push beneath these lows here. <clears throat> and you can see uh, there is a breaking uh, new extreme here. But since that EMA is holding so strong, this thing could keep going. There may be a bigger channel at play off the highs. Um, 
main thing right now is we are in a hard EMA mode. I'm going to trail this now. Getting pretty far from the EMA. And look at this. I mean, it's just racing lower. And this is about 10 points. Take a screenshot of that. The runner's probably going to get hit here. I trailed it so tight. Let's see. And there we go. We get hit. We get uh, almost right around 10 points on the runner. So I hope you guys enjoyed that second entry short at the EMA. Thanks, and y'all have a great day. Bye.